The invasion of Earth was long coming. When the Covenant finally arrived, it was devastating for humanity. I'll tell you why on today's Halo lore video. In 2552, Earth remained far and away the most important human colony in the Halo universe. Today, I tell the story of its fall. Besides for a home fleet, Earth's primary defenses were 300 super mech orbital weapons platforms. The stations were organized in battle groups of three and protected the planet from every angle. On October 20th, 2552, Covenant whispers were heard within the Soul System for the first time ever. The first force to arrive at Earth was the Fleet of Sacred Consecration, led by the Prophet of Regret. The force, which was absolutely puny considering the importance of Earth, immediately converged on the athens cairo malta defense cluster, hoping to punch a hole through the orbital array and reach the surface. The ODPs were primed almost instantly, however the Covenant had jumped outside of the kill zone, which I've represented with a red circle, so they could not be fired on right away. The UNSC home fleet, which at this point in the war had been cannibalized to help reinforce other battle groups, moved into position to protect the defense platforms. In total, the UNSC had about 8 marathon cruisers, 70 frigates, and a few other miscellaneous capital ships at their disposal. The UNSC was not forced to hold position for long, and the Covenant entered the kill zone and pushed toward the planet. While pushing, the Covenant engaged with UNSC forces heavily, resulting in massive losses on both sides. While this was happening, Covenant strike teams successfully destroyed the Athens and Malta defense stations, though Master Chief was able to disarm the bomb meant for the Cairo. Still, a hole was made and the Covenant exploited it. One CAS class carrier, shrugging off fire from both defense platforms and cruisers, was able to make its way to the planet's surface. The rest of the fleet remained engaged in orbit. The second CAS was destroyed after UNSC Longswords pierced a hole in its hull, which Master Chief exploited, using the previously disarmed Covenant bomb against its creators. Over the city of New Mombasa, the Prophet of Regret jumped away from Earth, granting somewhat of a reprieve to the defenders below, but also devastating much of the city through the slipspace jump itself. Shortly after, an even more massive armada, this time with over 30 capital ships, including three CAS carriers, arrived and began to engage humanity across the planet. Although other UNSC assets were recalled, by this point things were not looking good for humanity and the planet was being dominated. Still, it was clear that Truth's forces were not looking to conquer the planet, but were instead searching for something. On November 17th, 2552, High Charity's forerunner Dreadnought and the Prophet of Truth himself arrived on Earth, likely facing almost no resistance. Covenant forces activated the portal to the Ark and, with that, left immediately. However, the hardship was not over. Immediately after this, the Indulgence of Conviction, a flood-controlled CCS-class cruiser, crash-landed on Africa. Anti-Covenant Sanghealy would follow, and the fleet of ten were able to eradicate the infection from the planet, although half of the continent was fully destroyed. The Fleet of Retribution, as it was known, along with the Forward Unto Dawn, a UNSC frigate, followed Truth's forces through the portal, leaving Earth now destroyed, but without any major threats or protectors. Most of the UNSC home fleet had been completely obliterated. I mean, High Command can only spare three frigates when they believe the Ark is about to be activated. Thankfully, no other attackers would come, and the seriously crippled Earth would be given time to rebuild. And that is all for today's Halo lore video. Do you have a battle or an event that you'd like me to cover in Star Wars Halo or any science fiction? Put it down in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. May the Force be with you.